All right, Dad, what are we doing today at McGee's Garage? Well, today we are going to address the steering situation after some careful research, aka driving down the road with big tires. I've noticed that the uh, tie rod has bent. It's bent. 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 At the threads. At the threads. So I bent it back and it bent again. Mm. So what comes what what happens when you bend metal over and over again and straighten it out and bend it again and well that's how you scratch your roof scratch the roof yeah we don't have a roof we have a tarp that's the problem so it's probably going to break next time yeah so we're going to get rid of the factory curtain rods and we're going to put some dom with some three quarter inch hind joints and eliminate all that and make it much safer to drive at speed. So that's why we haven't been driving it a whole lot. It's kind of hard to tell, but uh, pop the castle nut off of the tie rod. It's just torrential downpour. So unfortunately due to inclement weather where it's been raining literally every day, we're having a hard time working on the rock store right now but we have gotten some things done on the orange jeep since you guys last saw it threw a holly carburetor on here runs a little bit better now kind of been driving it around just fire it up real quick give it a one two come on baby uh, come on she wants to go There it is. See, if it had a Ford engine, it would have fired right up. But anyway, that's that. While we were looking at it and trying to figure out exactly what all it needed, there was a, a brake vibration. And um, not sure if you guys can see that, but we're kind of missing something right there. Uh, yeah, that slide bolt is gone. So there's there's that. <laughs> we think we're gonna go to uh, different wheels and tires. I got these sold, I'm pretty sure, to a buddy. Yeah, that's pretty much it on the orange Jeep. I gotta peel the Salt Life sticker off of the windshield there. I like to saltwater fish, but the Salt Life founder guy has some interesting history. If you wanna know more about the Salt Life founder, look up Salt Life founder Las Vegas on Google. Maybe DuckDuckGo would be better, but. Yeah, look that up. It's interesting. So as you can see here, we got these offset himes, and the reason you want to go with offset himes on the rock source steering is so that it bars out far enough, it doesn't contact your differential as you're steering. Because if your steering arm contacts your differential, you're gonna have a bad time. Took the old parts runner to O'Reilly's and got some bolts for the brakes. Hopefully these fit. <laughs> All right, I think that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna try and bleed the brakes, but it's always a nightmare. I got this six point socket, but these things always strip. There we go. Watch this snap. Uh, I don't know about all that. So pop the cap off of that. Got some brake fluid here. Make sure we don't run that dry, because if you run your uh, master cylinder dry, you're gonna have a bad time. Fun fact, dot three and dot four is the same exact thing. Okay. Open. Closed. Okay. Open. Closed. That looked good. Take it for a rip. Hopefully, I got some more pedal now. All right, let's see what she's got. Eh, that's a little bit better. Could be better than that. I wonder if the vacuum booster's hooked up right. I definitely think it breaks better, but it could be a lot better than it is. If I had to guess, 
I'd say it's these cheapy extended brake lines here. Needs probably some braided steel ones because I don't know, man. I, I don't trust plastic brake lines. I don't think they're getting it. Well, at least it runs and drives good with this uh, Holly carb on it. Not sure if you guys remember, but the last video we had an Edelbrock carb on this thing. Now we put a Holly on it and it runs way better, stays running. We had an issue where it would like run terrible after it got over like 180 or something. It was just ran bad. Didn't want to stay running. This Holly all of a sudden it wants to act right. So that's pretty good. The thing I really like about this Jeep is the way the stance is set up. It's like, the tires are completely out of the fender wells on this thing. Let's see here. Ah, the gauges don't look too bad. At least it's staying cool. Previous owners spent a lot of money on the cooling system on this thing, and I'm thankful because nothing I hate more on hot rods than overheating. There's so many cars and trucks that just overheat terrible. And if you got an overheating vehicle, you got to do something about it because that's not drivable. So here's the verdict. It's better, but it could be better than better. Seems to be locking up this one pretty good. You know, honestly, for these brakes, I might just probably just go ahead and do full calipers. Master cylinder looks fairly new, but might as well just do all the calipers. I mean, they're old anyway, and brake lines and everything. It's really the only thing on the Jeep that's not like new. So as you can see, steering's off the rocks or dad pulled it off. Looks like we should be ready to start at least mocking up the steering, fixing it, because this this stuff right here is too thin. You can't have that. You can't have that. Right, Desi? She said nope. Yeah, this is what we're this is what we're dealing with here. I mean, look at that. This is it, it's a bad design and it's not very strong. So there's that. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of McGee's Garage. Make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe. Got a lot of projects going on. Share the video if you enjoyed it. Just hit 2,000 subscribers. I'm pretty happy about that, pretty proud. I didn't think we'd actually uh, get many subscribers at all, to be honest with you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.